When Nicodemus came to Jesus by night for an interview, he said he thought Jesus was come from God because, as Nicodemus put it, Thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. John 3, verse 2. In other words, Nicodemus was saying, I know you come from God because you can do miracles. Sounds logical enough, wouldn't you think? The only problem is that the dirty old devil can also do miracles. In Exodus chapters 7, 8, and 9, we read of Moses and Aaron demanding that Pharaoh let the children of Israel go. To prove they were from God, Aaron cast down his rod and it turned into a serpent. Thus he performed a miracle to show he was from God. But lo and behold, two of the magicians of Egypt, named Janus and Jambres, cast down their rods and they also turned into serpents. Now, who do you believe? The answer came swiftly from God because Aaron's serpents swallowed up the serpents of Janus and Jambres. So that problem is settled. So far, so good. The only problem is that the devil is going to continue to do miracles. In the last days, Satan is going to deceive people with all power and signs and lying wonders. 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 9. So now we do have a problem. If we believe something is from God because of some miraculous event, and then the devil can also do miracles, whom do you believe? And the devil won't have some little shabby old miracle. He'll do some big things like, for instance, St. Paul tells us, Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Lord have mercy. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. So now what do we do? Well, the answer is always in the word of God. A group of Christians, the Bereans, found it right after the birth of the church. When the devil wanted to deceive them, they turned to the Bible. We are told that these were made more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and they searched the scriptures daily whether those things should be. Acts 17 verse 11. That is, if something from the pulpit didn't sound right, they went right home, got out their Bible, and checked to see if the pastor squared with the Word of God. And if not, that was the end of that pastor or teacher. They were obedient to the admonition of St. Paul who commanded, But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Galatians 1 verse 8. So there you have the answer. If Jannies or Jambres or Reverend or Doctor or Professor or whatever, if what they preach does not square with the Word of God, well, as Paul says, let them be accursed of God. And the quicker, the better. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we always have your Word. It will never change. Heaven and earth will pass away. That Word will always be there. So we need to square every teaching we hear by the wonderful word of God. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.